Come here. Come closer. Like really, really close. Today, I want to tell you five things builders don't want you to know. Because if you know these things, they make you a ninja when it comes to buying new construction. And if you understand how these things work, you will get a really, really good deal on your brand new construction home. So I'm going to give you these five things that are kind of a secret. So shh, builder doesn't want you to know these things because if you know them, it makes a huge difference in your transaction and the way that things function and the way that you get the best deals possible when buying a new home. And I'm going to tell you the fifth one is probably the most important one that nobody talks about. So stick around till we get to the end and I'll give you the fifth one is because it's probably the best. So here we go. Number one, get everything in writing. So I love, I love our builder sales reps. They're awesome. They're phenomenal people. They're great to work with. And there's really some great ones out there, but I want to make sure that we get everything in writing. So if it's not written down, it's like it never happened, right? Uh, we're not doing things on handshake agreements. We're not doing anything. So any sort of upgrade, any sort of warranty, any sort of closing costs, any sort of buy downs, any sort of anything. We want to make sure we get it in writing. That's like our safety net, right? Because if it's not in writing, it didn't happen. Also, the main reason we want to get it in writing is builders are highly volatile, which means sales reps get moved around a ton, right? Sometimes the, build, the sales rep who starts your community is not the one who finishes it, or they leave and go to another builder, or they get fired. or And so what we want is we want to make sure we have a paper trail of documents of, hey, this is what we're supposed to be getting, make sure it's all good to go. And we verify that like, hey, we're not doing some backroom shady deal to make sure something's happening, right? So we wanna get it all in writing. That's super important. So anything the builder promises you, get it in writing so that you have it. You want paper trail, right? That's the first one. Number two, we're gonna call this unadvertised incentives. Now, sometimes builders have special deals that they don't actually, you know, shout about, right? That they, like, they don't want anybody to know. So always ask if there's any hidden goodies or discounts because you never know what you might unlock, right? So when this, what this means is when we get into conversation, we start looking at our website and the builder says, oh, we have 15,000 or we have 20,000 or we have 25,000. Most of the time, they have a little bit more wiggle room than that. I'm not saying they have a ton and I'm not promising you that it happens every time. I'm just saying there's probably a little bit more wiggle room, especially if the home has been sitting for a little bit, especially if you're buying off of their inventory probably a little bit more wiggle room. And when I say a little, you know, that's usually maybe it's $5,000 extra or it's, hey, we're going to throw in blinds or a washer and dryer or a fridge or a combination of those things. They're not advertising those. They're not shouting that from the rooftops because they're in the business to make money. Um, so they're trying to advertise just enough to get you in the, the door to make a good deal. But there's probably a little bit more that can be done. So we always ask about it. Here's the tip with when we ask about it, we are gracious and we are kind. Like we are not jerks. We don't go in there and strong arm things. We don't try to bully our way through things. We are gracious and we are kind because truthfully, they probably actually have to get approval from management. And so we want them to like us when they have to go ask for those things, because when they like us and they're asking for those things, it goes a whole lot farther than when they're like, yeah, they were total jerks. We don't want to deal with them at all. So please don't give it to me. So unadvertised incentives, they're usually there. Sometimes on build jobs, a lot of times on inventories, you just have to know how to ask for them. And that makes you a ninja. If we haven't met before, before I give you number three, my name is Zach. My team and I, we sell new construction real estate here in DFW. That's what we specialize in as realtors. I mean, that's what we would love to help you do. So if you have questions or you need uh, somebody to represent you, our contact information right at the bottom of this video, reach out. We would love to help you get the best deal possible, whether you're here in DFW or you're relocating. Uh, new construction is our specialty. And so we want to give you everything we can get you the best deal possible when doing that. So number three secret that they don't want you to know is we have to leverage our inventory knowledge. So what I mean by this is uh, you have to kind of find out and it's kind of hard to find out. You just kind of have to start asking questions. Uh, find out which homes have been waiting for a buyer the longest, i.e. this is a spec home. It's fully completed and it's been sitting there. Oftentimes they're going to be a little bit more eager to sell you this home, which means you might be able to get a better deal. So trade-off is you can't be picky. Like you're going to maybe have to settle on some things. Obviously we want you to get the right house, but a home that's been sitting usually means like it's costing the builder money, right? Like it's their lost leader. Like they need to get it moved and get it out of there. So if you know that and you're like going in and you're like, Hey, show me the inventory homes. Like look at what's been sitting. You know, you can look through MLS and kind of see, you can kind of just get it through asking questions. Also, if you find out that there's a busted contract, Here's what I mean by that. A busted contract is either somebody was building this home and they couldn't close 
or they contracted on it. And for whatever reason, you know, they couldn't close, couldn't get financing. They backed out, changed jobs, moved states, whatever. Like, and that contract comes back or that house comes back to the builder. They were not expecting to get that one back. So anything that's a bust, it's like, oh, we better get that thing sold or we're going to get busted in the butt. Right. So when you know about those things and leverage those inventory knowledges, you can kind of get a better deal. If you know that a community is about to close a phase or, you know, that a community is about to close the whole community or the builder in some cases is like, Hey, we're not buying into the next phase or we weren't, we're shifting our focus or, or whatever it is. Or there's the, like what you would call maybe a little bit undesirable of the lot, you know, it backs up to a street or it backs up to a school, like all of those things. Like when you can leverage that inventory knowledge, it is super helpful in helping you get like a ninja and get in there and swoop in and get a really, really good deal. So, and then that brings us to number four, kind of alluded to this one earlier, um, is I would tell you secret, like partner with a knowledgeable realtor, partner with somebody who, who knows the space. And this is kind of a little bit of a self-promotion and I don't mean it to be that, um, but don't go in alone, like team up with a realtor that knows the ins and outs of new construction. They can help you along the way. They're paid by the builder from a separate marketing budget. So like not having them doesn't mean that you're going to get a better deal and any builder that says, Oh yeah, if you don't, if you cut your realtor out, we'll give you a better deal. They're lying. That's a major red flag. You should run away because you should want to be represented. So partner with somebody who knows what's going on in that space, ask questions of them, let them go in and ask questions of the inventory, you know, understand the incentives, get all the stuff in writing and, and let them work on your behalf. I would love for that to be us and our team, but even if it's not, I'd find somebody, please get represented. Take somebody who knows what they're doing in that new construction space. Number five is the one that I told you would be worth waiting for. And this is one that nobody talks about because this is a hard one. Like this is me being vulnerable, me being honest as, and as somebody who loves new construction, this is probably the place that I find the biggest downfall. And here's the thing. It's understanding uh, the builder's warranty, right? So I want you to understand like every builder is going to give you some sort of warranty. You know, it's, it usually falls in like a one, two, 10 or a two, two, six or a one, two, six. And those are terms of years. So it's like, you know, one year on things that are cosmetic, uh, two years on anything system wise, and usually six to 10 on anything structural foundation wise, make sure you understand what that warranty, pro like what that warranty is. And the, here's the hard part, understand what the warranty process is, because all of these builders, they'll advertise, oh yeah, we have warranty, we have warranty, we have warranty. Start asking questions about, hey, what is the process like? Because I'll be honest with you, this is, and, and this is again, me being vulnerable and me telling you like, this is what you should know. Sometimes working with a builder's warranty company can be an outright pain. Like I'm just being honest as somebody who's bought personally new construction homes and you know has sold a ton of new construction homes, things that I hear from clients. Occasionally a warranty can be a pain and here's why. A lot of builders actually outsource their warranty to third party companies, which means so it's, it's like if if banana banana construction company built it, like it's not their builder that's coming and doing the warranty. It's whatever company that they hired. Right. And on the warranty side, their goal is, is to do what? Like we want to fix it, but we also don't want to spend a ton of money. So at times it can be a headache to jump through the hoops of like, oh, this is wrong. And we need to get this fixed. Oh, we got it. You got to call this specific, this specific trade or this specific vendor and then getting them to come out and getting them to show up and getting them on the schedule. Like if I'm honest, like sometimes it can be a pain and I don't want you to be surprised by that. So this is kind of the, the ninja thing, the secret thing of like, ask those questions, ask what it's like to deal with their warranty department, ask how difficult they can be. Um, keep it all, you know, again, keep everything documented. And, and I'll just tell you, sometimes working with a builder's warranty can be a pain can be have a little bit of a headache. And if you don't understand that, you might have a little bit of a letdown. This is also the point that I tell you the, the secret pro tip as like 5.A or 5.1 is at A, you're going to get your home inspected. Like if we're working together, I'm, I'm not, I'm going to highly, highly recommend you get that home inspected before you close. I don't care who builds it. We're going to get it inspected. Also about month nine, 10, 11, we want to get that home re-inspected just to make sure that everything is in working order like it's supposed to be. And then you have a document that you can give to the warranty company and say, hey, here's the things that are wrong. Here's what I would like to be fixed. Um, and then you can start to work through that process. But just know that warranty is kind of a difficult process to work through. Uh, and it, it kind of comes as a surprise to people. And I don't want you to be surprised by that. So those are my five secret ninja tips. I probably have more, actually I most definitely have more. Uh, and we'll do those in another video. 
But if you found this helpful and you're trying to buy new construction, I would love to help you. My team would love to help you. Contact information is right below. If you have questions, reach out to us. Of course, you can totally do this without us. If you want to do that, please go do it. But if you need help or you need representation or you have questions, we would love to help you. So this hopefully makes you a rock star, can get you in and give you those five golden nuggets of wisdom on that new home journey that the builder may or may not want you to know because when you know these things, you get the best deals possible. So thanks for hanging out. Appreciate your time. If you found value in the video, thumbs up. If you want to continue to learn about new construction here in DFW, subscribe to our channel. We have new content every single week. And if you have questions about which builders are the best and which ones are, don't mess with them. Check out this playlist right here. We'll do some in-depth builder review and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye for now.